In this video, we're going to complete example one, and we're going to find the reciprocal for each fraction below. Starting with question A, we have the fraction three over five. Now, when we find the reciprocal, we are simply flipping the fraction, or you could also say that we are swapping the numerator and the denominator. So if I found the reciprocal for question A, it would simply be five over three. Notice that the five and the three swapped places. That's all you need to do. Let's now move on to question B. What would I do if I swapped the one and the six? It would give me six over one. Remembering that six over one is the same as the whole number six. Now it gets a little trickier because we get to question C. And when you look at it, you think, well, this isn't really a fraction, so how do I flip it? Well, I can express it as a fraction. The whole number four can be expressed as four over one. And now I can flip it or find the reciprocal, which will be one over four. Finally, with question D, you will notice it's a mixed numeral. Some people make a big mistake and they only flip the fraction. You can't really do that for mixed numerals. The first thing you need to do is convert it to an improper fraction. In case you've forgotten how to do it, you start by multiplying and then adding. We're going to go 4 times 2, which is 8, 8 plus 3, which is 11. This gives us our numerator of 11, and our denominator always stays the same. It's going to stay as 4. Now we can easily flip the fraction 11 over 4, giving us 4 over 11. That concludes our video on the reciprocal. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.